shot blocker. Freshman Bruins in Cobb and McGrath in the back line. And for Connecticut, Brown starts up front along with uh, the tremendous force in Emeka Okafor. There is a Tim Welsh, the head coach of the Providence Friars, now in his sixth season as coach of the Friars. He said, uh, we really found out what we were made of after we lost those two close games and came back to win four straight. And here's Jim Calhoun, a national championship coach in 99, and he could have a, another national title by the end of this season. UConn is that good. Fall up. You take quick shots against the Husky, and they run it out. We're taking quick shots. And that one, that's Brewington. He's quite a story. He is hearing a challenge, does not have... Uh, Full use of his hearing abilities, but he's starting as a freshman. He's, this is his fourth straight start. Looked like sonar on that shot. Play. Providence is three and one. Gone with a beautiful move to the basket and a basket interference call against Okafor. So they'll play tough. A week ago, the Huskies were number one in the country. They're now down to number four as Gomes goes to the basket. Providence has not beaten a top ten team on the road in 14 years. The last time the Friars beat a top 10 team on the road was uh, the win over Syracuse back in January of 90. Friars. Down low to Okafer and with the left hand he gives the uh, Huskies the lead back by Waz, the number one key to the game. We said we've got to get the ball down low to Okafer against their zone and now to the basket go the Friars and they get points in the paint and take back the lead. Friars out rebounding uh, the Huskies by a wide margin early in this game. Out rebounding them nine to four. Free throw made. He now is hitting 88 percent. Great line on this guy was a 270 pound ordinary high school player from Waterbury, Connecticut. Two schools offered him a scholarship. Siena, when Paul Hewitt was there before he went to Georgia Tech, and Providence. And now look what he has molded himself into. Quick hand saved them. This is Villanueva, the freshman, throwing it away, intercepted by McGrath. Kava comes up. He has a lead man on the right. That is Gomes to the basket. He is just good. Set minded Friars are on a 7 0 run against Connecticut to take a 14 8 lead. And now Connecticut comes down and scores. Packing in, trying to cut off Okafor. There's Gordon again, up in the air with no place to go. Vision. Down to McGrath, who lays it in. And it is a 10 point lead for Providence. In the upset of Connecticut last year, Douthat had nine blocks. Here is the next big star at Connecticut slamming it down. Josh Boone. In the middle, Okafor with a beautiful move, out fighting two Friars for the ball, and then he lays it in. And it's tied up as the Huskies on a 10-0 run have rallied back. Okafor. Steal by Douthat. Lead to Cody, pulling up. And it's a two-point shot. His toe was on the line. The outfit, good shooting touch him away from the basket. Gomes gets the loose ball and banks it in. Hey, the yeah. guy some years ago that you knew well and saw reminds me a lot of Ryan Gomes, Oscar Robertson, yeah. who yeah. I think was the greatest player ever. Boy, that's uh, arguable, but uh, certainly he was the class of our era. Well, if you added all his points, rebounds, and assists in his first five years in the NBA, he averaged a triple-double for five seasons. Dalvin. <laughs> Unceremoniously rejected. Providence uh, shooting barely 35% to almost 47% for Connecticut, but the Friars, uh, Bucky, have taken 10 more shots in the field. They have 31 shots. Connecticut to try to find him and challenge him. The Friars led by as many as 10, 22 to 12, and now Brewington, the freshman, knocks it down. Boy, he was only 6 for 24 before that shot, but he shot it with confidence. Oh. There's a high percentage. It's a Make somebody else beat you. You know what he can do. Good yep. job. Good job that time by Providence staying with it and getting the touch to Ryan Gomes. Ryan Gomes indeed has the touch. He's scored 15 points so far today. Gordon drives. Rebound to Gomes. How good is this guy? Gomes. He is fantastic. He is absolutely a sensation, Ryan Gomes. And he's a junior. Then we're tied. Then led by eight. 
Now go to the locker room with a 35-29 lead. Gomes with 17 points to lead Providence. Okafer leads the Huskies with nine. Back in a moment. Down low they go to. And a reject of Okafer. And he gets the loose ball, though. And Emeka Okafer now with 11 points. And Tim Welsh getting set to put in another sharpshooter from the outside. Took a Cody coming in, but Bucky that uh, he expands his game every year, Gomes. This year, he's brought the three-point shot into it. And Gordon's always had the three-point shot. And the lead is cut to three as Ben Gordon bombs. This is upset of Connecticut at stores. Gomes defended well inside. Back outside, that three-point try by Gomes. Ryan Gomes continues to light it up. He now has 22 points. For comes out to play Gomes that opens up some offensive rebounding opportunities for the Friars. Here comes Ben Gordon leading to Talik Brown. And the guards work it beautifully. Eight points now for Brown, and it is a 40 to 38 game. The Friars lead cut to two. The Huskies with another run. Break points. It's their signature. Intense D and run the floor. Gomes oh. gets it up against Okafer. McGrath under and up and down in the four point lead for Providence. Boy. Ryan Gomes has been the difference maker in this game with 24 points, as you see on 10 of 16 field goal shooting, 10 rebounds. How's and that for a substitution? Yeah. Ben Gordon sees the lane. Down to Hilton Armstrong, and the sophomore from Peekskill, New York, ties the game. Sold out. The freshman, Brewington. Yesterday, all of these friends should be very happy. One of the great names in Connecticut basketball, D. Rowe. Everybody wishes D the very best, and here is a lead to Gomes, from Gomes to Douthit. And it takes a roll around the rim and drops through, and it's a four-point lead for Providence. I think you can attribute that to Okafer. Beautiful inside move by Okafer. Who... They got a guy up there who can. Oh. <laughs> the three gives the Huskies the lead. First lead since the 15-minute mark of the first half. Brewington, the 6'5 freshman, a very uh, under control player, does not make mistakes. Douthat has the ball stripped. Here comes Talik Brown. All the way, end to end, a reject underneath, and who's the foul on? They didn't even double team Douthat in there. Tim Welsh concerned. John Gomes. Gomes has four. And he'll be back next week. As Cody kicks it out, yes, yeah, Sanders sitting 57% uh, from the field, and now a long ball struck down by Shegu Kaba, and the Friars come back and take a one-point lead. I think the elite big defenders for Connecticut have taken away his shooting confidence. There's a long ball. Uh -huh. Cody, uh, the big doll, the freshman defender, Villanueva's on him. Long ball, and Andron strikes. They get it down low to him now, and Okafor goes up and under and gets three-point looks in this game for either team. Well, that's the advantage of the tough defense. Oh, wide open. Ryan Gomes with a beautiful backdoor look as he kicks the ball down low. Two three zone. Here's Cody on a breakaway. And he extends the Friars lead to 61 to 54. And who's hit two threes is in this. Now Talik Brown dishes it down low to Denham Brown. And here is a long lead down court to Sheikh Ukaba, who lays it in. And the Friars open up a nine-point lead with 1.40 to go. A two-point goal makes it an eight-point game. Lead to Gomes. And he puts the exclamation point on one of Providence's most important wins in a long time. Yeah, and under tough, tough circumstances. It's only January, but this one had all the earmarks of a Eastern Regional or a Big East Tournament Championship game. 
on the road, two in a row over Connecticut. Explain it to me. Well, everyone knows how much respect we have for the UConn program and I have for Jim Calhoun. And, you know, to come in here and win on the road uh, tells a lot about our kids. I mean, we have a confident bunch. We're a veteran group. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win here last year, so it wasn't like we thought that we couldn't do it. We had done it once before, although that doesn't mean much once you start playing. you got to go play, and our guys really played hard tonight. Without Rob Sanders, take, take us through that back-to-back -back heartbreaking losses to Texas and then at Rutgers. I've forgotten about those, Bucky. You know, those seemed like two years ago. Uh, you know, the, the great thing, though, is our kids persevered. They didn't let that get them down. They kept working hard and knew that the season, there was a lot of season left, and we talked about that, and today was a huge one for us. All right, what about this guy on my right, Ryan Gomes? You know, he didn't make the uh, Big East preseason all-tournament team. I'm just, I'm just wondering how this guy didn't get invited to the USA basketball. Somebody's got to be kidding me. I mean, he's one of the, he's the best. He, I, I, uh, he put on a clinic today. Ryan Gomes, my congratulations, young man. There, I don't know all the stats we had. The only thing we weren't sure of was how many programs you sold. I mean, you did everything else. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. You know, coming here and get the win against a good team. Like you said, they top. There was four, ranked four. So it, it feels good to come here and get a win. You know, we've been working hard all season. You know, trying to be one of the top teams in the country. So. This is the beginning. I was uh, trying to be uh, uh, funny talking about you're not making the preseason all Big East team. But get, what is what is the clue to why you keep improving? Every game out, you show us something different. Well, I, I just have to credit my teammates, you know, and Coach Welch here for giving me the confidence that I need to go out here and play every day. And uh, that's all I got to give credit to them. I, I work hard over the summer just to, for days like this, and uh, I'm just happy that we keep winning games. Well, the passing and the use of the left hand and the three-point, you just keep extending your game. You're very confident at the line now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm very, very confident. You got to be. You can't, you can't uh, think you're not good enough, you know what I mean? So you got to stay confident and, you know, keep getting better. W was it my eyes, or were you nudging uh, Coach Welsh here uh, when you were sitting down with four fouls? By the way, they weren't very good fouls. Well, yeah, I mean, I reached in a few times, but, uh, you know, the refs called it good. But, you know, I have to also credit my teammates. You know, I was on the bench for a few minutes, and Kyle Bud, McGrath, Cody, Marcus Dowd stepped up. So this is a team effort and a team win. It sure was, and you're a heck of a player. Thank you. Don Cricky, I had a great afternoon. How about you? And I know the Friars did, too.